Okay, this part two of the single replacement reaction lab. Um, to point out, their first column has uh, lead in it, and uh, we can see that the first row barely has any noticeable change. The second row, the one with lead nitrate, also um, no distinguishable cha change there. The third one, the one with the copper nitrate, it does look like there are some bubbles there, and it also looks like the lead had gone through kind of a change in color. Now the second column, that would be the one with zinc. So that one looks like the first row looks the same. The second row with the lead nitrate looks completely different from what it started. It's it not only is it a different color, it kind of broke apart, so it kind of spread out the base of the well plate there. Similarly to our third um, row, looks that looks like there's quite a big change uh, that's noticeable with bubble formation and um, the change, even the change in color of the solution, right? Now for the third column, that would be our copper pieces. Um, it looks like zinc nitrate has no noticeable change. Uh, the middle row, lead nitrate, doesn't seem like there's any, it just looks like it's wet. Um, the third one, I would say the same, that there's really no noticeable change for that one. Now when we go to our fourth uh, pieces here, the aluminum pieces, the very first uh, row with zinc nitrate doesn't look like there's anything that changed. There's definitely some changes here, there's bubbles, the aluminum had broken up into smaller pieces, and similar to copper nitrate, uh, we can definitely distinguish that change. For the last one, we have magnesium, and it looks like there's no changes for the first row. A lot of um, bubbles in the color change and the structure uh, is now completely different for both the middle and the last row. So copper with lead nitrate and copper with copper nitrate, it looks like there's some significant changes there as well. All right, that is your data.